Hey fashionistas, Chrissy Carly here from Boutique Fall and welcome back to my blog. Today's look is a Disney inspired Disney princess look. Um, last week I saw Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson and Dan Stevens and it was absolutely amazing. It was everything that I had hoped for and wanted plus more. Um, growing up I as a little girl was obsessed with Disney princesses. Um, I still am obsessed with them. I love anything Disney. Um, and I remember watching all these Disney princesses multiple times and I was so excited to hear that Beauty and the Beast was coming out um, this year and I finally went to watch it. It was, like I said, it was everything. It was so magical. Um, today's look is actually not Beauty, it's not Belle from Beauty and the Beast, it's Cinderella. Um, Cinderella is my favorite princess. When I watched when I watched it for the first time, I remember falling in love with the blue dress, um, the glass slippers, the fairy godmother, the prince. I thought everything about it was amazing. So Cinderella is my favorite princess. So today we are actually going to do a Cinderella inspired look. And I say inspired just because Cinderella's look is not like this. Um, as, you can, as you can see in the video, um, her eyeshadow look, her look is pretty much, it's not very... Um, it's not what I did. Um, it is my intake. So this look is my intake of Cinderella's makeup. Um, so it is a little bit different. Um, but I thought it would be really fun. And, you know, like I said, I love Disney. Um, so it was super fun for me to film um, this look today. And before we move on to the video, um, make sure to go ahead and follow me on my blog. I do post videos every Wednesdays for Vlog Wednesdays and written content for the other days of the week. So make sure to go ahead and follow me so you do not miss any posts. Um, and other than that, let's get started. So we're starting off with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm just going to put that on the T-zone since that is where I get pretty oily. And just put it just on the cheeks. Um, so put it over the cheeks for and forehead. And the next primer I'm gonna use is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Um, today's foundation is actually very matte and it can be drying. And my skin is it's um pretty complicated. It's sometimes dry but it can be oily in the T-zone. So but with you know a matte foundation it it's way too drying for me and it doesn't look very good so I'm actually using two primers today um, and today we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me uh, sorry, Matte and Poreless Foundation um, for Cinderella her foundation is her skin is very very white it's very pretty pale um, except with hints of red um, pink um, so for today's foundation, I'm actually using um, the foundation that I know makes me more pale. This is not very tan at all. So I'm just putting that on a real tonic sponge. It's pretty heavy, so I'm not using that much. I'm only putting very little, just like this much. I'm putting that all over my face. So I'm tapping that in. And then we're just going to bounce that in. And then make sure to go down the neck as well. So moving on to the eyes today, we are using the NYX Eyeshadow Base. Um, and I am just going to quickly prime my eye with that. I already did my right eye, so I'm just going to show you on my left eye what I did and how I got this look. Um, so today we are using the Little Black Beauty um, Warm Edition from e.l.f. And I am using this blue today, right here. It's just so, so with a, let's see, with my e.l.f. crease brush, uh, I'm just going to pick up some of that blue. And I'm just going to go ahead and slowly put that on the crease. And, and like I said, it's okay if you're a little messy just because um, you are going to clean that up. Okay. 
and then with a um, concealer, I'm using the um, Fit Me Maybelline concealer. Um, I'm just gonna pick up some of that with a flat, with a lid brush. Um, so I'm just using this flat brush, picking that some up with my for my concealer, I'm just picking that up and I'm putting that on the lid. I'm going to go into this shade right here. Just slowly going to build it up and you want to be very careful when you're placing this because you already kind of just outlined the cut crease so you don't want to go into the blue um, just because that kind of ruins it. Going back into that blue, um, we're just going to go ahead and deepen up. Go back into this blue right here. Um, with a actually a really small brush. So I'm using a, another small smudge brush by e.l.f. and just picking up some of that blue and tap, make sure to tap off any excess. I'm just gonna go over the crease and just kind of deepen the color. Okay, and then moving on to the lashes, um, Cinderella, her lashes are very bold um, and very, very dark um, just because she doesn't have a lot of color on her eyes, on her eyes um, other than her blue eyes, but on her lids is very, you know, it is a very pale, um, sim not pale, very simple look. So she does really go heavy on the, lit on the lashes. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure to really curl my lashes. I don't wear falsies, um, fake lashes, just because I don't really know how to put them on. Otherwise, I would. Um, today I'm using Maybelline's The Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This really darkens and lengthens my mascara, and my lashes can hold a curl. Um, so I really don't need a curling mascara for this one. Going more for lengthening and volume night. So and volume. So for today, I'm really taking the time to really make sure all my lashes are getting mascara. So going back onto the face, I'm gonna start with my concealer using the same concealer that I use on my eyes. Um, I am using the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer. Again, I'm in shade 10 light. And I'm just going to dot that under my eyes. I'm not really hiding anything. I don't really have that many bags or dark circles um, today, thank God. I'm just using it more just to highlight my face. Um, so with my Real Techniques sponge, I'm just going to blend that in. I'm just going to go quickly highlight the nose. Okay, and for today's bronzer, like I said, Cinderella's, she doesn't really have that much bronzer on, but because my face is super pale right now, um, I'm using my lightest bronzer, this NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder. So with a big, um fluffy brush. I'm not, uh, I'm actually not going to contour today. Like, um, I'm just going to use a bronzer just to warm the face up. And you really have to go into this one. Like I'm really pressing it in just because this does not have a lot of pigment, um, which is good for this look, but I do want to warm my face up a little bit. Like smacked something. <laughs> Moving 
on to highlight. Um, I'm actually, I generally put um, blush on and then highlight, but I'm going to do something a little different today. I am going to put on the highlight first and then focus on the blush because Cinderella's face is very, um, she does have a lot of blush on. So for highlight today, um, I'm going to go into Sephora Shimmer Stick. I'm just going to dot that on. So I want it to be a very subtle highlight, which is why I'm like dotting it on and not really pressing it. I'm not swiping it on as I generally do. Because I do want this highlight to be a very, very subtle look. And then going into my e.l.f. powder. So it looks like I am going to put this highlight, um, the highlight over the cream. So with my highlighter brush from e.l.f., all my brushes are from e.l.f., um, I'm going to pick some of that product up and put it over the cream highlight. And I want it to be very subtle, so I'm not really doing too much highlight. And then for blush, I am using um, Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop um, in 18 Pink Honey Pop. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. It's so pretty. Um, so with a blush, a bl blush, blush brush, I'm just going to pick some of that up and I'm going to build that up. going to um, go to our lips. Um, Cinderella, if you see her photo, it is, um, she does have very red lips, um, but I'm not going to do super red today just because the blue, I already did something fun with like um, the blue eyeshadow and the cut crease. So I'm actually going to go more for a pink, but still um, has hints of red in it. Um, so today I am going to be using um, Milan, my one of my favorite lipsticks um, by Milani. This one's in Pretty Natural 43. So it looks like this. And it's this shade. This looks like this. It smells so good. It smells like grapefruit or like some very fruity look, but um, fruity smell. But it smells amazing. I love it. So there you have it, my Disney-inspired Cinderella look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you decide to come up with any of your Disney-inspired looks, make sure to tag me on social media, on Instagram and Twitter. I would love to see your looks. And until next time, XOXO.